Hello everyone. Oh gosh, that's a bit that's a bit high. There we go. Uh oh, it's not lined up now. Right. Oh <laughs> it did worse. There we are. See the professionalism in no no bounds. Um welcome to day one of my 21 day talk on developing intuition. And make sure you like the Facebook page, Wellbeing Centre Wales. That will then will just make sure you don't miss out on any of these videos in the series if this is something that interests you, and hopefully it will. I'm going to take a little bit of time to run through a few things, um, but make sure you stay till the end or, uh, because there's some really information there about one day workshop and help you bring some uh, clarity and achieve balance in your life. And uh, that's coming up. So the, this 21 day, one, one day for 21 days, this is something that I'm going to be doing live on Facebook to try and help people. And the reason for this, I'm all about helping people. It's what I've noticed is that when we develop our intuition, our lives get much easier. We make better decisions and other things happen. And uh, it's great because it's almost like you start becoming lucky and who doesn't want more luck in their life? So the first seven are about intuition. Here's the head is, what is intuition? Do that today. Why is intuition important? What will intuition solve? How can I prove my intuition? How can I practice my intuition and have fun? Is intuition just guessing? And what's the difference between intuition and ego? So that's, that's the list. So what is, um, what is intuition? You all have intuition. Some people choose not to listen to it, but we all have it. And it's got different names. And the name that comes up often is a bullshit detector, a BS detector. So when somebody's talking to you, you've just met somebody, you've started a new job, you're in a pub, a club, uh, possibly a new relationship, new business, whatever it is. And somebody's ta talking to you and you're thinking, you're lying to me. This is just crap. This is just bullshit. I mean, like, what's going on here? Why are you lying to me? And that's intuition. And what happens is when we then um, have a vested interest, we ignore it. And a vested interest could be a love relationship with someone that we really like and, and, and we just think there's something not quite right with this. You could be looking at a business deal or an opportunity or something else. And there's just something about it which it doesn't quite float right, doesn't feel right. But we think we, we want to dismiss it because we want to be sold the dream, the idea, the thought, the process, whatever that is. And that's when things start going wrong in our life and uh, when things start falling apart so a bs detector is a really good way to put it now if you if, if you know anybody that's an entrepreneur or business guy what you'll find is um the successful guys have got something which we would call gut instinct it's the same thing they could be looking and the difference with this is, is you could look at facts and figures and spreadsheets and documentation and you could be looking at stuff and you're looking at it and you're thinking well this is supposed to be the facts but something's not quite right here something doesn't quite add up what's going on and uh, so again we could want to believe whatever it is we're being presented with whether it's a business opportunity or you've met somebody or whatever it is but you have that feeling the reason is a gut feeling is because what happens with intuition is you sometimes get a physical representation of the feeling in the gut for a lot of people hence gut instinct so sometimes it could be a uh, a near thing so sometimes you could be with someone you could have a conversation have a presentation something like that another time you could be looking at documentation or facts and charts and graphs and all that kind of stuff and you're thinking something just doesn't work right something doesn't feel right here and you can't put your finger on it and other times it's remote so we would have most of us would have heard of something called mother's intuition where you know, a thought pops in their head and they think, oh no, the kids are fine. And oh, oh my God, what's going on? And they run outside and have a look or whatever it is. But it's called mother's intuition, but it, you know, it's not gender specific. It is, you know, it's whoever you have an emotional connection with. So it could be a friend and this is quite important. And this is something I've discovered in life that what I've noticed is that women are brilliant at this 
and blokes generally wear pants. So we would think of somebody, whether we're thinking of a friend or a family member or someone like that, and when we're thinking, oh, I've just thought of my mum, my sister, my friend, whatever, whatever it is, and they send them a text or pick the phone and have a chat. And they think, oh gosh, you won't believe what just happened. And we, we do this, don't we blokes, we do this. We kind of, you know, a friend pops in our head, we're thinking, oh, there you are, there, there, there's that guy. Oh, I'll just send him a text to see how they're doing. We don't do it. We don't do it. Do we think, ah, I'll be fine. I'll see him down the pub. We'll have a chat. We'll pop round. I'm seeing him on Thursday. We can have a chat then if there's anything needs going. And so what I recommend, whatever gender you are, whatever I, what, what I recommend is if something pops into your head and you're thinking of a friend or someone you have an emotional connection with, whether it's a lover, a spouse, friend, family member, work colleague, if you get on really well with them, whatever it is, and, and you, you're thinking about them, there's a reason you're thinking about them, just drop them a text and say, hey, thinking about you, is everything all right? Why not? What have we got to lose? I mean, like, you, you know, you could have a laugh about it, it's the worst thing that's going to happen. But it could mean the difference between them being okay in their life or not. So it's always worth following through on, on intuition. So that's the, that's the other thing. The next thing is, um, uh, we could joke and call it the spidey sense or take the term out of uh, Star Wars and say the force. You know, it used to be called ESP, extra sensory perception. Uh, it, some people used to call this sixth sense. And this is where our consciousness, we're all connected. So generally the people who follow my videos are spiritual people and they'd be fine with this. We're all connected. We all have this, this common um, consciousness. And, and actually what's really interesting is a sh different shamans around the world have a, a different term for the whoever the pack animals are in the areas they live like the coyote they call it the coyote mind or they call it the wolf pack mind or something like that it's just lions have the same thing it's just when they're hunting they, they obviously don't growl oh he's over there behind the tree or oh, <laughs> gonna growl uh. anyway so it's almost like they know they and they work as one it's incredible i think fish do this as well and and so it's it's just amazing us as humans, we do this, but because we are sophisticated, we watch telly and radio and Netflix and all the other nonsense, what we do is we block out those signals and we've, we've sort of reduced our connection with each other. So why am I taking my time to explain this? Because when you start connecting with the world around you at a higher level, your vibration rises. And why is that important? As your vibration starts to rise, your immune system boosts, you start making better decisions, you stop making crap decisions which cost you time and your effort. And all those crap decisions make you feel worse and lowers how you feel about yourself. And then I'm I'm a very lucky guy. I'm a very lucky guy. Things just really good things happen for me. I'm just like I've had a lot of crap in my life, but stuff good things happen. And because I've come to learn to trust that feeling. I do the right thing because it's the right thing, not because I've went about karma or anything like that. I do the right things, it's the right thing, and it feels good, even in the short instance if it seems this is going to work against me. So, intuition, what is intuition? Intuition is knowing stuff that you, that just being aware of stuff that you may or may not have an idea about and guys on motorbikes are really good at this they drive down and they generally know which car is going to pull out or open their door and and it's almost like a sixth sense so if you do stuff like this you start working on and you you yeah you just develop this but people want to make it all airy fairy and flouncy it doesn't have to be it's a straightforward day-to-day -day thing and it's something you can raise, it's something you can improve upon, and it's something that's gonna give you a happier, healthier, more fulfilling life. Now, this is pretty much, I uh, just wanted the first one here was an introduction. What is it? It's, it's like a bullshit detector, and there's all sorts of other things, and the reason we don't listen to it is because we like the story that's been told. So we meet somebody, they're wa waving red flags, we ignore the red flags and we think it'll be different this time or you're in a relationship and somebody saying I'm sorry I'll never do that again and there's a part we're thinking you're lying toad I know you'll do that again but you dismiss it because you know it, it, for whatever personal reason you have so 
start listening to intuition the life and energy and everything about you will get better and as you raise your vibration it improves your life and improves the loved ones around you in your life as well so thanks for watching now check out my website wellbeingcenterwales.co.uk learn more about uh, the one day workshop i got coming up which is the first sunday in october uh, the information is on our website and um, so it's about raising the vibration because it's the key to get in the life that you want and and that's just pretty much it there's a free course on there as well go and check that out and uh, follow me on um, facebook and instagram it's at wellbeing center wales and much love to you all i'm mike and um got any questions got any comments about this drop your comment and i'll answer them anyway take it easy Ta -da.